Welcome to today's free reading. Pick a card at my tarot website, tarot readings with amethystrain.blogspot.com. This is card number one. The magician reversed. Um, there seems to be an ongoing theme for this time of year, for this month, and it's a loss of personal power. I don't know if the general public, is there's an energy about us where we're afraid of making decisions, we're not trusting our decisions, we're giving too much um power and influence to someone around us and and we're not we're not standing up for ourselves and we're not trusting our own instincts that's the first impression that i'm getting from this card also along with the the readings i've been doing this month the uh, the element of air is very prevalent um, linked to the idea of communication. For some reason, communication is very important this month. Either we are not listening to and absorbing and understanding clearly what someone is trying to tell us, or we ourselves are not expressing ourselves clearly to other individuals. So communication, communication, communication. Make yourself understood. If you don't understand what someone's trying to tell you, then try to clarify that with them. Um, I'm, I also, with this card, I'm also getting um, the impression for some people reading this card that you are in touch or surrounded by someone who has let power and influence go to their head, whether this is a, a romantic relationship or a business relationship, but there's someone around you um, that needs to get a reality check and a control on their ego and they need to step down and back up and give the people around them space to breathe. Um, I'm also getting the idea of directing your power. For some of you, you are scattering your energy. You've got too many uh, irons in the fire. You're spreading yourself too thin. Concentrate yourself uh, on one important aspect of life. What's the most important thing to you? What needs the most work in your life? Um, concentrate your energy where it's most needed and stop scattering it all over so that it's too thin to be effective. And that is card number one for today's free reading. Pick a card. Welcome to today's free reading. Pick a card at my tarot website, tarot readings with amethystrain.blogspot.com. This is card number two. The moon reversed. Um, I love this card. There's two very opposite aspects to it. One is very positive. One is very negative. And since this card is reversed, I'm going to bring up the negative first. And then we'll talk about the positive aspects. The negative aspects of the moon is that you're not being told the truth or you are not being truthful, either to yourself or to someone else or a group of people. And only you will know which scenario applies to you. Remember, these are very general readings. I also am getting the idea with some of you that someone is holding something back. It's not that someone is being deliberately untruthful, but someone is holding something back. Whether they're um, afraid of repercussions, whether um, it's it's to their benefit financially or emotionally, um, or, or whether they're afraid of your reaction. So someone is holding something back and be aware of that, either with relationships or with finances and business. Um, I'm also getting the idea of a thorn in your side. Some of you um, either have 
a circumstance or an individual or a group of people that are causing you troubles and rifts right now and it's like a thorn in your side. So it's time to face these situations and maybe lay out on the line with these people or the or with the circumstances or this group what is wrong and what is bothering you and try to get it straightened out so that it doesn't become a larger issue. It would also be nice to get that thorn out of your side because they don't feel very good either. The positive aspects of this card, this is my my favorite tarot card actually, is its connection with feminine divinity, the connection to the goddess and the three stages of her existence and thus woman's existence. Uh, The full moon is going to be highlighted for... Um, at least the next two cycles, I'm feeling like like full moon energy is extraordinarily important right now. That's going to be an important time of month. It's going to be a culmination of what some of you are working towards, um, what some of you are investing in um, relationship-wise. It, there's Things are going to culminate and come to a point um, during the time of the full moon. I also feel that for the three aspects of of the goddess, the mother, the crone, and the maiden, it's like uh, it's like those of you, especially women who are listening to this, who are going to be evolving and and growing from one stage to the next because that's what it is. It is a growth. Um, it is it is a healthy uh, progression. Um, and, and I feel that for some of you, it's going to be extraordinarily significant. And again, full moon energy comes into play. Um, this is where you celebrate um, the goddess. I also have the feeling that for some of you listening to this, you have left a dark place behind. So the the full moon is kind of relevant in its sim- symbology of lighting the way with a softer less harsh light than the sun you have you have left something dark behind you and you are slowly leaving those shadows and coming out into a new life um, a new existence maybe some of you have a new partner romantic partner you're starting a new business adventure you are leaving the shadows and that is card number two for today's pick a card free reading Welcome to today's free reading, Pick a Card, at my website, tarotreadingswithamethystrain.blogspot.com. This is card number three, The Devil Reversed. This is a card that, that encompasses us and forces us to face our own weaknesses, our own addictions, um, those things that bog us down in life, whether they're um, alcohol, drugs, whether the addictions are shopping, uh, patterns of negative behavior. This is a very general reading. There are so many scenarios. Whatever your weakness is, 
you are coming to a point and a phase where you are going to have dominion over this and you are going to leave this behind and move on with your life. I want to look at the card just a little bit and see what else I can pull from it. Um, I also, I'm getting the feeling from from this card for some of you that that you have felt for a very long time that you are in like a, I'm getting the idea of a glass box, like somebody's palm pressed against the glass box and just this frantic, I want out, I want to move forward energy. 